We want to know if we have seven individuals at random, whether at least one of them has HSV2. And in order to do this, we need to know just, let's separate it into just, do we have at least one or do we have just nothing? So in order to find this, we actually need to find the probability of having at least nothing, so zero. And in order to do that, I've already filled out some of this uh, to answer our question. So let's just start off at the top and we have our n equals 7 comma and our p equals 0 0.075. And I close the parentheses. Our n again is 7 and our p is 0 0.075. And voila, what we have down here is that... 42% that there's a 42% chance that the sample will contain at least one individual uh, or HSV2 positive individual. Now the way that we found this answer again was finding the probability of having noth nothing, having no one have HSV2 and what's the probability of that? Well that's 58% approximately. So how do we get this? Well, the answer is in these three formulas. So let's just do it by hand just so you have an, a visual representation. All right, so in front, or what we have here is a binomial coefficient. And if I can get my, uh, there we go. Okay, so binomial coefficient. Oh, no wonder why. Okay, so we have our binomial coefficient. So let's go ahead and fill this out. So our n is seven, and we wanted to find out the probability of having zero people with HSV2. So if we plug that in, that is the factorial of seven. We get that with zero, and we have seven minus zero, and we have that. So if we simple, simplify this, this is going to be, now I'm not gonna write out the entire seven times six times five times four and all that, so I'm just gonna continue with that. And this, whenever you have zero, is one. Mu or I'm sorry, multiply by seven minus zero, which is voila. Now, if we just simply cross these out, we have one and we have one over one, so our answer, so our answer for this is just one. Okay, so that's one portion. Oop, that was horrible. Please excuse that one. Okay, so that's how we found out this answer. So here we have the proportion of P to the X value. So if our X within this is going to be zero because we want to know it well that's what our x is um, and from there we have our q so that is 1 minus 0 0.075 to the n minus x power so we know that that is 7 minus 0 and that's what we get to is 57 point nine four so notice that these two answers are one it's not always going to be that simple but it is a good simple way in order for you to plug in anything else that you might need in the future